Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. In today's video, I am going to share with you all about a Windows Privilege Escalation Technique that abuses the MSI Windows Installer Package Repair Operation. We will go through two articles first before showing a practical hands-on demonstration on one of the Privilege Escalation vulnerability found in one of the software. This technique was published back in July 19 by Mendian and it showcases two different zero days that Mendian has discovered on the Atira software. Just to elaborate further, this is not a new technique at all. Several vulnerabilities have been discovered via this issue many years ago, but it didn't receive the attention it deserved. To summarize it as simple as possible, when you use MSI Exec to install a Windows software via its MSI installer, the MSI installer will be cached in the Windows installer directory, and the MSI installer will be accessible by anyone on the Windows computer. While installation and uninstallation of a software requires administrator privileges, repairing of a software does not. This means that any user on the Windows machine can trigger the repair operation by executing MSI exec with the slash FA argument, followed by the MSI installer file. During the repair operations, it is very likely that operations such as file read, write, and execution are all executed with NT authority system privileges. This means that any user, including a low privilege user, can trigger the repair function that will result in certain actions being performed by the system privilege. If the repair function of the software is configured insecurely, it is very likely that a privilege escalation will be possible. In the first example, it was discovered that the repair function of the Athera software will cause the software to load several DLLs from a writable folder in Windows 10 Athera Upgrade Agent Package folder. By dropping a DLL into the writable folder, anyone can cause the MSI repair function to execute a DLL of your choice, which will then be executed under the system privileges, resulting in a privilege escalation. The second example is even more simple. When you perform the repair function on the Athera software, the software uses the net.exe command to stop the Athera service first. This is fine, but the command is not executed silently in the background, and as shown in the article, the command prompt console is totally visible to the user. Anyone can simply right-click on the console window and select properties, and then click on the hyperlinks in it to open up a browser. All of these are executed under the system privileges. From the browser, you can then execute cmd.exe by pressing Ctrl O to open a file through the browser. This is simple. The Mendian article then provides some useful references and resources. The link to the Mendian article will be provided in the video's description so be sure to check it out. The second article, which was published in October 3rd, just earlier this month, leverages on this technique, and the author discovered more than 30 over privileged escalation vulnerabilities across different vendors. This means that this guy basically has gotten more than 30 CVEs under his name by looking for privileged escalation vulnerabilities with the MSI repair technique. This is pretty cool. This article provides more details, more examples, and more useful tips on how you can do the same. It is a very interesting read. If you are interested in getting a zero-day CVE under your name, you should most definitely check out this article and give this technique a shot. The link to this article will be provided in the video's description as well, so be sure to check it out. On this screenshot shown over here, something looks weird. Can you spot it? Yes, the author forgot to censor off the software name over here. We can see that this vulnerable software is Exact Vision Client and the version is 22.12.2.0 over here. Let's try to download this vulnerable software and give it a shot. Let's try to reproduce this. Let's search for the software exact vision. We immediately get a hit. Let's visit the website. Let's head over to the download page. It appears that there is an updated version. We are interested in the vulnerable one. So let's scroll down and find the older version of it. Awesome, this is it. Let's download the 22.12.2.0 version. As explained earlier, the installation and uninstallation of the software requires administrator privileges which is expected and normal. Let's provide the admin credits to install the software first. Our current user is a low privilege user as shown in the screen. He is in the users group and is not in the local administrators group. Alright, once the installation is completed, we should be able to exploit the software now to obtain a system shell from a low privilege user.
Let's execute MSI exec with the slash FA argument to trigger the repair function. Awesome. We can see that this does not require administrator privileges at all. For this software, the repair function basically reinstalls the software for you. Once the repair function is completed, we can see that there is a hyperlink that we can click on over here. Let's click on it and open it with a browser. This browser is now executed under system privileges. Now let's press Ctrl O to open up a file with the browser. Let's open up CMD. Awesome! We are able to reproduce the privilege escalation vulnerability as shown in the article. This is great. We have a system shell now over here. Alright all, this is it to this video. I hope you all have found it to be interesting and useful. I have recently created a free phishing course available on Udemy. This phishing course is completely free and it is only about 30 minutes long. Several phishing techniques and popular tools such as GoFish is demonstrated in the course. The link to the free course will be available in the video's description. The link to the two articles shared in the video will be provided in the video's description as well so be sure to give it a read. Thanks all, I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye!